Hey everybody, it's Nintendogen64 here, welcome you all back to Let's Play Crash Bandicoot 2. In this episode, we're going to go up here because we've pretty much cleared out all of the um, second warp room except for the uh, box gem in air crash, which we can't really do anything about right now. I right, go down. I wanted to go up to verse the second bosses of the game because there are two of them. And if you know who they are, well, you probably do already, so. Let's see. Let's meet him. Ooh, were they throwing swords at each other or something? I think they're in like some kind of a circus or something. Ah, I'm not too sure. By the way, his laugh there is um the exact same laugh off of um the rats say of uh, toxic waste in the first Crash Bandicoot game. So it's quite simple what you go do here. He spins him around, and then uh, the fat one spins the skinny one around, and um, yeah, then he th yeah he gets dizzy, and you gotta spin him, and yeah, whatever. Um, then when he throws swords, it's really really easy. All you can all you gotta do, wait, what? Whatever, is just stand behind him, and he can't get you at all. I actually did some research for this part, and I um, found out that. The Komodo Bros were originally going to be in Crash Bandicoot 1, but I don't know, for some reason they took them out of that game, I don't, I'm not too sure why. But I think Crash Bandicoot 1 has a good variety of bosses, but we're not playing Crash Bandicoot 1, we're playing Crash Bandicoot 2. And Stage 3 is probably the hardest, he just like throws his swords at you. Oh, and he killed me! I didn't think I got that close to him. Oh well, 56 lives, nothing. He automatically starts off spinning. You can pretty much just spin him against any wall here and he just bounces. Fine. So somehow he finds a way to bounce it into the fat one. See, I don't even know their names. I think one's Komodo Joe. And, um, I can't remember what the other one is. I can't even remember which one Komodo Joe is. I think it's the skinny one. But yeah, that's right, because he's in, he's in um, Crash Bandicoot. Uh, Crash Team Racing, I mean. He's the third boss in that and the second boss in this game. I think they're in Crash Bash. I can't remember though. Okay, you're gonna throw your swords at me again. You are uh, scimitars, I think. They're cool. Yeah. Whatever. Just stand behind him, and you can't do a thing about it. Wouldn't that hurt? Someone being spun by a sword. Oh, buddy, buddy, buddy. And you're dead. Yeah. Woo. And there we go. That didn't take too long. Even though I did die there, and like, I think these guys are like the easiest boss in the entire game, but there you go. Okay, so Cortex is gonna talk to us again. Good show, Crash. The Komodo brothers obviously lack your metal. But now is not the time to get cocky. There are still many crystals to obtain. Remember, the world is counting on you. Oh, I'm sure the world is counting on me. So this is the third warp room we got here. It's like a water-based warp room, I guess. Pipe-based, I'm not too sure. So let's see what levels we've got to deal with. We've got plant food. Sewer or later. Bear down. Road to ruin. And unbearable. Um... Yeah, well, in the next part, we're actually going to go into plan for you to start off this bad boy. That is Warp Room 3. I hope to have your company then. Until next time, for well for now. But not forever. And now, uh, well, let's just see what, what our save thing looks like. Uh, the Komodo Joe's. Look, like, the Komodo Joe's. No, the Komodo Bros thought so. So we're at 30 something percent. Let's just see. 35 percent. Oh, okay, so you don't get any percent for beating those guys, apparently. Whatever, didn't I say goodbye like 20 seconds ago? Whatever, see ya.